Give us a cheer for you, the guy's scooter man. Right, well, I'll fucking explain it then. Uh, it's this new thing. If you've driven to the pub in your car, you've had one too many drinks, you think, fucking hell, I'm going to get home. You call scooter man, and he comes and gets you and takes you home. Right, now, the first time I seen this, I was pissed out of my head. And I was in a urine. Oh, no, I wasn't fucking in a urine. I wasn't that fucking drunk. Um, I was pissing into a urinal. Uh, I've got big hands. I've got big hands. And I couldn't get my head around this scooter man thing. It was there in a the flyer in front of me, and I was like, Scooter man. <laughs> you drink. <laughs> he drives. <laughs> so he comes on the scooter, <laughs> drives your car, and then you've got to ride the scooter. <laughs> I don't reckon I can do that. Uh... <laughs> so the song that you're going to play for us tonight is particularly hard hitting. Tell us a little bit about that. I like to talk about pain, suffering, you know, because that's, that's, that's where my songs derive from, you know. Right. You, you see these kids signing on, mate, and I tell you now, they've got no prospects, you know, they, they've got no future. And you get people telling them what to do, you know, social workers, unemployment officers, you know, and they're not listening. They're not listening. They don't want to know. They want somebody to talk to them on their level. They want somebody who knows where they're coming from. That's me, and that's why I've written this song. It's called, Come On, Make a Change. Because that's what we've got to do. I think you're going to turn a lot of people on with that. And I hope this song is a message. I hope this song is a message to anybody out there, you know, who doesn't know what to do with their lives. Listen to the words that, and maybe it'll give you some reason. It'll give you some direction. It'll give you something to do. So you haven't got a job. Cause you're scorning the waste of time Go ahead, kill yourself Nobody's gonna really mind There's electrocution, self-mutilation Or lying on a railway line Just make sure the train that you're waiting for Runs on time you know, hanging can be lots of fun Setting fire to yourself, a oh, nice one Starvation, but it might take long So drink bleach to help it along You're on the scrap heap before you're 30 
And after that it's all downhill Come on top of yourself Cause you're scoring the waste of time Join the latest fashion All the girls and boys are doing between the age of 10 and 25 That isn't the you know, scan too well in the song But it's a social comment, I like to put it in, you know what I mean? Come on top of yourself Luckily, I have a great husband that took care of me. Been married almost seven years. It's awesome. People are like, are you really married? Is your husband a little person too? <laughs> I'm like, hell no, he's six feet tall. Yeah, it's great because he's nuts over me. <laughs> yeah. We have fun. I don't matter, no matter how long you've been married or if you're not married with your partner, you got to keep the spice alive, you know? You gotta, my husband's a great guy, super affectionate, but I like to freak him out. That's my goal on a daily basis. Like this one time, we're on the bus, on the city bus, sitting there side by side. My husband wants to give me some hugs and some kisses and some lovings. So he's leaning over to give me hugs and kisses. I'm like, Daddy, stop it! <laughs> Some older lady's like, oh. <laughs> like, don't worry, kiss is better than Uncle Mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Makes me laugh, you know. Is again, I, I go on about my mum quite a lot because she, she smokes about 60 a day. She fuck her, she's fucking, she looks like Taggart. <laughs> it's been a murder. <laughs> she's got that much makeup on, I don't think that predator could see her. <laughs> <laughs> but she, I she's got 60 a day, but she's always skinned. She's always got no money, but she's always got Siggy money. Because Siggy money is magic money, isn't it? You could have no money for food, you'd have fuck all in, but you'll always have your Siggy money. You know what I mean? Uh, but she kind of got this bizarre like health ratio. Like that. She, she will, she'll smoke 60 a day, but she won't eat turkey or, <laughs> or beef anymore because of like. BSE and Bluetooth, not Bluetooth, that's blue tongue, isn't it? <laughs> blue, blue tongue, something else, isn't it? Don't <laughs> feel too good, Dave. <laughs> you know, bed flu and stuff like that. You only take like that. That tear, he'll kill you. <laughs> no more beef. <laughs> beef is no good for you. <laughs> My first job in the UK was shit. <laughs> was cleaning houses in a rich area and I was tempted sometimes to steal, but I did not steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal. But nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. <laughs> Took a couple of stereos, left a Walkman. <laughs> Took a big screen TV, left an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> And I get in trouble for making fun of religion like that, you know, thou shalt not steal. But sometimes the jokes just jump out at me. Like on Friday last week, I was staying in a hotel. You know, they always have the Gideon's Bible in every room. But in this hotel, the Gideon's Bible was directly next to the booklet, which gives you the instructions on how to get porn on the TV screen. <laughs> it was a personality test. What kind of person are you? Are you a Bible person? Are you a porn person? I think the person before me was both. Because the pages of the Bible were stuck together. I figure it was Palm Sunday or something. <laughs> <laughs>